What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another episode of this gun f***ing rocks and this time we're taking a look at one that I have wanted to do for a while but I wasn't sure how you guys would feel about this thing and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second but we're talking about the Hydrofrost. Now the one that I've got here is the Times 4 variant which does consume 3 ammo per shot. You can get this in other variants that will consume as low as 2 ammo per shot or as much as 4 ammo per shot. So then the list of projectiles on the 2 ammo per shot one will be 3 so a times 3 version and then the one that consumes 4 ammo per shot will be the listed as a times five. Now, all three of those are going to be amazing. This just happens to be the one that I got on my first farming attempt when I went and got this thing this morning. All right. So like I said, with all that variation, uh, there will be a little bit of sway in the damage. One thing that you need to note about this thing is that, like I said, you know, because of that ammo consumption, this thing does chew through the ammo, but it shreds, man. This thing absolutely shreds. Now, the one that I got here, I went and took it to Sanctuary and I rolled it to have the Digiclone active regenerate 30% of magazine ammo per second. So watch this. We're at 842 ammo right now, right? I summon my clone and watch my ammo count just skyrocket back up. This is absolutely the best roll that you can get on this for Zane. Uh, that said, this gun is great on all characters. On Moe's, you know, obviously you can mitigate some of that ammo consumption just because, you know, Moe's has the best ammo regen skills. And then on Flak, if you're landing crits, there's always a chance to get ammo back on crits. So uh, this thing will definitely hit a ton of crits for you. So that said, even with the ammo regen, as you can see, we're already down to 400 in our mag. So this thing goes lightning fast, man. Lightning fast through the ammo but it is such a fun gun to use. I, I cannot recommend this thing highly enough. Uh, tell you what, we actually have the Revolter on. Let's take that off and put on the Snowshoe because I know a lot of people complain and say that all your damage is coming from the Revolter. Let's let the Revolter run out. We'll let the Revolter run out and then we'll shoot some more stuff. My cat Biscuit has decided he wanted to be part of this video too, by the way. <laughs> so he, he's already bumped into the microphone and he's trying to get on my lap right now. Biscuit, I love you, but we're trying to record it. This gun fucking sucks. He's like, man, these treats you gave me fucking suck, dude. Come on, get with the program. So as you can see, even without the revolter, this thing still will tear people up. Uh, obviously, if you're shooting a frostbite with this gun, it's not going to do as well. What this gun does is for every 10 seconds, every second shot out of the gun will deal either shock or fire damage. So as you can see right here, we're getting that extra damage every second shot, which is pretty awesome, man. That gives you basically like stacking elements the way you can do on all the other characters by doing like an action skill and anointment and stuff like that. So it's built right into the gun. You don't need an anointment to do that. Which again allows me to free up the uh, the anointment to have some ammo regen on Zane, for example. This gun obviously then is probably worst off in the hands of Amara because no ammo regen skills, no ammo regen anointments. And look at that, we are out of ammo just like that. So a couple things to note. <laughs> and I don't know why this works, but if you have the ammo regen anoint, you might notice down at the bottom left hand corner of my screen, I'm still regenerating ammo even though I'm in my menu. Even though the game is paused, I'm still regenerating ammo. That said, you can get yourself a cut purse artifact and regenerate ammo that way if you want. But uh, this is hilarious that you can actually just go into your pause menu and regenerate ammo. So keep that in mind in case you do need to regenerate ammo and you have some sort of ammo regen skill. Uh, or annoyment like I've got here. So yeah, so this gun has gone through one buff since it came out and that was on December 17th of 2020 where they increased the weapon damage by 30% and they increased the shock or incendiary damage duration from six seconds to 10 seconds. So a longer duration on that. And uh, both of those skills combined uh, did some amazing stuff for this thing. Now, they also made it so that the fire projectiles are added to each buff. So in addition to your shock, you were always going to get the fire ones as well. Again, like I said, this thing just absolutely eats your ammo, but it is a fun gun to use. It's very similar to the Tizzy in terms of like the fire rate plus the damage. But unlike the Tizzy, this one gives you more projectiles coming out, it feels like. So uh, definitely a fun gun to tinker around with see what you guys think this thing does drop from shivers the unscathed and that is in the negel nashi map on xylorgos in dlc number two in case you want to go farm this thing for yourself it's actually a pretty easy farm there's a save point right up the hill from that enemy and you can trigger that and then start your farm from there every time you do have to be careful though the enemy will drop its loot off the map all the time like 
a lot. <laughs> Fun gun. Ammo is the main problem with this thing, but again, on Moe's and on a uh, clone Zane, you can have some fun with this thing. Definitely worth getting your hands on, especially if you're a fan of the Tizzy from Arms Race, and this doesn't involve you having to go through Arms Race and hoping to get it. This involves you going and farming a pretty easy farm. That's it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of This Gun F***ing Rocks. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon for more. Let me know in the comment section below what gun you guys would like to see next on This Gun F***ing Rocks. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.